It's time for the long trip back to Missouri. Okay. I haven't left Oregon yet. Out here on the east of Oregon, there's a Hell's Canyon, and there's an Oregon Trail Interpretive Center out here. I thought it'd be a good chance to share our journey again. Our first homestead was in Oregon City. We had a tiny little sliver of what was originally one of the early land grants from the Oregon Trail migration. That migration, of course, was the greatest mass movement of people in North American history. And a lot of them started in Missouri and came out to Oregon, Oregon City. Well, our journey was just exactly the opposite direction. We sold our place in Oregon City and moved back out to Missouri. And I'm on my way back there. So it's kind of interesting to see a little more of the history out here. And I hope everyone out there who hasn't seen some of our videos will take a chance to, to look at them. We loaded up a trailer, hooked it onto our pickup, and headed out to Missouri, only with the faith that we'd find our new homestead. So I've got a kind of a feeling of kinship for for some of this history. Made it into Boise tonight. Tomorrow on my way, I'm going to try and see Shoshone Falls. This is a beautiful place. Well worth taking the time to stop and check it out. I should have turned my camera on a little earlier than I did. On the drive down here, there was a mountain goat up on the cliffs and a, what I think was a porcupine crossing the road right in front of me. Look at this. And a beautiful morning to boot. The hotel desk guy at the place I stayed last night was nice enough to tell me that it's pronounced Shoshone Falls, not Shoshone Falls. My next wayside destination will be the Grand Teton Park. I am in, you guessed it, the Grand Tetons. Welcome to Wyoming. It was a pretty drive getting out here. This part of the park is called the Lawrence Rockefeller Preserve. And there's some ominous thunder coming from those clouds right back up there. It's a little windy and I feel a little bit of spring leak right now. When the rain really starts coming down, I'll just head back to the car. This is a nice little excursion. Stretch my legs a little.
I made it all the way up here to the lake. A little out of breath, it was a good hike and I was going pretty fast just in case the rain started. It's gorgeous. I'm glad I made the effort. It is starting to rain, but it was worth it. When I was hiking up here, everyone and their second cousin's brother-in-law was passing me going back down the trail. I'm the only one coming up here in the rain, or in the threat of rain, and as a result, I had the place all to myself. So I, I count that as a win. There was a trail that went all the way around Phelps Lake out there, but I opted to just soak in the beauty from that one quick scenic spot and head right back. Probably a good choice with the rain, and I need to get down the road if I'm gonna to get to my hotel. I've checked into my hotel. I'm still in Wyoming. There's more stuff to do tomorrow, but I think I'll let that be a surprise. This is Devil's Gate. It's a prominent landmark here in Wyoming. One of the famous features along the Oregon Trail, and it's also very closely associated with the Mormon migration history. It's super accessible, and only about a mile and a half up here and back, a whole round trip. Great place to stretch your legs when you're on a journey like I am. I encourage everyone to come out and see it for themselves. There's an old branch at the trailhead to Devil's Gate. It's been turned into a history center and it's staffed by very friendly and well-informed Mormons. I'm not sure if they're docents or missionaries, probably a bit of both. Anyway, I was gonna interview one of them about the history out there, but we just couldn't get official permission for a media interview in the short time that I was there. They do have, and this is all free by the way, a very moving film that they showed there at the ranch about the history of a particularly ill-fated expedition that that's well worth watching. I'm now in Laramie at the site of an old frontier prison. This is a museum so we'll see what this is all about. Them. 
How many women did they have at the prison, you think? Uh, over the 30 years, they had 12. Okay. Slash 13. Uh, Carrie Hayes liked it so much, she came back again. Nice. Now, she got in trouble. When she got out, she goes, well, I'm going to move into Laramie. May I'll stay out of trouble. Within a couple of weeks, she's in front of the judge getting ready to be sentenced to six, half, six and a half months in the county jail. She goes, judge, if you let me go, I'll leave your state. She left. Nice. How many were impregnated by the guards? Dude, dude, my mind doesn't work that way. <laughs> Sicilians aren't like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got some land I can tell you, too. This setup, you really have to get along with your cellmate. So you rob the stagecoach. Who wants shotgun? And then you get taken here in one of those things. Honest fellas, it wasn't me. I didn't rob that stagecoach. You got the wrong guy. Maybe I'm having too much fun in Wyoming. I ended up in the pokey. Well, you might be wondering how it is I ended up in prison. I gotta tell you, it all trails back to when a woman done me wrong. After that, I made some bad choices and got on the wrong side of the law. It's a long, sad story, and we don't have time for all of it here. But I've got a song with just a few lyrics. Let me recite them for you. I'm talking about that woman that done me wrong. Now, I'm not a singer, but fortunately, this song is something that you can just speak with feeling. Let me know if you've heard it before. When her fist hits your eye and she eats the whole pizza pie, that's amore. That's amore. Yeah, you're a cutie pie. There were technical difficulties with the rest of the video of my song lyrics so i'll have to do the rest of this bit back here in missouri rather than on location maybe it's ironic that i get to have a captive audience back here in missouri for this this next verse is my favorite anyways when her pasta fazool Tastes like old, nasty gruel. That's amore. That's amore. When the hours drip like tears and the days seem like years, that's amore. That's amore. But in the end, it's okay. You're here to stay. It only proves that you love her anyway, because that's amore.
I'd say this is an okay corral. Here's an example of what a old chicken coop would be like. You can see the little chicken door there, person door. A lot of things don't change actually. Little garden. And this looks like the outhouse. I'm glad some things do change. There's definitely more to this site than just the prison. I've had pretty good weather on this trip. Couldn't ask for better Wyoming skies. The saloon is closed, but the general store is open. Look at this. We've got a goat named Finnick. Prisoners may have actually been eating gruel, but the warden here in his house looks like he wasn't doing too bad. I'm now in Nebraska. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to go see the Buffalo Bill Ranch. All these history museums that I've been seeing has got me thinking about what in our contemporary life will people wanna see exhibits of in the distant future? I'm thinking it'll probably be gas stations. Can you imagine way back then people actually had to put gas in their cars? And that funny little card reader on those pumps, that was before everyone was chipped and had all their payments deducted automatically. Today I saw my first Missouri license plate. I haven't really been looking for them, but this one just kind of jumped out at me. So I think I am getting closer to home. This video is getting a little bit long, so my next video will have to conclude my journey back here to Missouri. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip back to the moon with me.